On June 16, the Catholic Church celebrates the memory of Saint John Francis Regis, a 17th century French Jesuit, known for his zealous missionary efforts and his care for the poor and marginalized. In less than ten years of ministry, this saintly Frenchman succeeded, with God's help, in leading back to Christ, an immense crowd of men, women and children of all ages, and walks of life, the Pope John Paul II remarked. He urged the faithful, to imitate the saint, and, put themselves, in God's hands, with total trust. Born in 1597, John Francis Regis, was the son of a wealthy merchant father and a mother, descended from nobility. As a boy, he was sensitive, devout, and eager to please, his parents and teachers. Educated by Jesuits, from the age of 14, he entered the Society of Jesus, in December of 1616. As he followed, the traditional Jesuit path of teaching, and extensive studies, John also became known, as a skilled catechist. He was eager, to enter the priesthood, and offered, his first Mass in 1631. John, spent much of the rest of that year, caring for victims of a plague outbreak, in the city of Toulouse. In 1632, John received, his assignment as a missionary, to the French Protestants, known as Huguenots, as well as, the country's lapsed Catholics, and others, in need of evangelization. The rest of his life, would be devoted to this mission, with remarkable success. John's missionary work spanned both a large geographical distance and a broad social spectrum. In over 50 districts of France, he preached the gospel to children, the poor, prisoners, and others forgotten or neglected by society. His best-known work involved helping women escape prostitution. John's labors reaped a harvest of conversions. However, his boldness, perceived as arrogance, in some cases, led to a conflict with certain other priests, a period of tension, with the local bishop, and even threats of violence, from those whose vices, he condemned. Against these obstacles, the priest persevered, sustained by fervent prayer, and severe asceticism. His missionary work, involved difficult winter journeys, and a witness at his beatification, testified to John's, habit of preaching outdoors all day, then hearing confessions, throughout the night. Saint John Francis Regis, died at age 43, in late December of 1640. Though suffering from a lung ailment, he insisted on preaching a parish mission, and hearing confessions. A penitent, found him, unconscious in the confessional, though he revived long enough, to receive the last rites before dying. Hailed as a confessor of the faith, and a model for Jesuit missionaries, St. John Francis Regis was beatified in 1716, and canonized in 1737. <laughs> 